Hey, how's it going? Thanks for being here. So in today's video, I will be exploring imaginary authors through a discovery set. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Whitney and here on my channel, we mostly explore fragrances, but I sometimes like to throw in other content here and there just for fun. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi. So if you're interested to see what fragrances I've selected from imaginary authors and to see my first impressions of these scents, let's get into it. So imaginary authors is a brand I came across a couple years back or last year, I don't remember, when I first learned about their Whiff of Waffle Cone scent, which seemed very intriguing to me and just uh, so edible. And I was just very much like interested in the brand from that point. But I never really pursued the brand like that. I don't think at the time I was aware that they offered samples, which is what I have today, which is their sample set. And yeah, so recently I rediscovered the brand um, which I will discuss more in an upcoming video, which I'm super excited to talk about, but subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you know when I talk about it. But yes, so I rediscovered Imaginary Authors and part of the reason why I decided to check out the brand and actually purchase some scents from them was I was just looking to, I guess, feel inspired. I, 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 I guess lately I've just been like, I don't know, I've been enjoying smelling new scents but I think what was missing was an element of creativity. And like I mentioned with something else that I, that involves imaginary authors um, had my attention. I realized, you know what, this is worth, this is a brand worth actually checking out. So yeah, I decided to go on their website and look through all of the scents that they offered and pick scents, I believe I have eight scents that I chose based on not only what I think I would actually like but also seem quite creative and I was very much intrigued to see how the scent smells and all of these are blind buys so makes it it makes it particularly exciting for me to do so yeah we'll be just diving into all of the scents that I've chosen I only remember whiff of waffle cone to be honest um but I'll obviously you know, as we go along, you'll know what I'm smelling, I'll tell you. <laughs> so I do like, oh, I guess I could show you just in case. They have their branding on the packaging, which I think is super cute. And that like honeycomb kind of thing, graphic. I know words. <laughs> All right, oh, look at me, I got a coupon. So I have a coupon for 10% off. And yeah, awesome. So I'll be using that for sure. Oh, now I have a sample here. Now I don't know if that's a free sample that they gave me because the box looks quite secure. That would be lovely if they gave me a free sample. I think that's what they did. Um, so let's try to, Muffin is right here. Oh, you know what? I would give her this paper, but I know how she is. We don't need any extra noise. So, what I love about their packaging is just the overall experience of it. So it looks like a book, which I think is awesome. And I think that's fabulous. So it says, um, be sure to have plenty imaginary authors, short story collection. Be sure to have plenty for your bookshelf. Um, yeah, this is really lovely. Life is Smoldering with Good Time, a collection of eight wildly inventive fragrance samples from imaginary authors. Um, each scent tells a different story. Now keep in mind, I chose the eight scents. I think they have the option to let them select the scents for you, but I figured if I'm going to get the scents, I would want things that I could actually uh, wear. Because I do feel like they seem quite experimental, but there's still a tone of wearability, so I'm excited to see. I'm trying to open this without ripping it. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna have to, rip. oh, no, I could just lift it. Oh, and it's magnetized, which is nice. So, oh, there you go. So that's a little book and then, all right. Yeah, so that was a free sample. That was very nice of them. So this is just a styrofoam container thingy and those are my eight samples. And yeah, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to get my paper strips. Give me a second, let me go grab them. I don't think they're in here. Uh, I don't think they gave me any is what I'm trying to say. One second. 
Okay, right, so back to what I was doing. So I did get eight of the cents, and I think what I'm gonna do is actually go on the website and have the fragrances pulled up. But what I do wanna get first is the Whiff of Waffle Cone because that's the one that intrigued me. Now I do smell a fragrance, I think, cause these don't have caps on them. So it's very likely that there may have been some like minor spillage, but nothing too concerning. And I do, part of my interest in this brand as well is just like how artistic it looks. And there seems to be a focus on art as well as like an artisanal quality to the fragrances in general and their tagline is wildly inventive fragrances and i love that so yeah i'm really excited to do this because i just was feeling like in a i wanted to feel excited and i think this is going to do the job <laughs> so first up we're going to get into a whiff of waffle cone so and all of the little samples have like yeah they're all design is all across the board which i think is awesome so the notes in whiff of waffle cone are vanilla heavy cream salted caramel am amaris i'm not sure what that is hey so i looked up amaris oil and apparently it's an essential oil that's used as a fixative when making perfume and soap and I see that its scent is described as sweet, balsamic, woody, and fruity. Orgeat or Orgeat or or mm, or J, I don't know, O R G E A T. So I looked up Orgia, and it's a syrup that is made out of almonds, sugar, and rose water or orange flower water. So yeah, it's used in making mixed drinks. Saigon Cinnamon and Ice Cream Shop. So um, they have a synopsis as well. I encourage you to read that if you're interested. And okay, they have a, they, it seemed to be very much um, giving, they have a, a section basically that says when to wear. So they suggest when to wear it, but y'all might know my stance on when you wear fragrances. Also the photography is fun. Okay, I'm excited. Let's just give this a smell. I'm sure I'm going to love it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this is nice. And you know what's funny? It doesn't smell like, okay, so it does have that like literal when you walk into an ice cream shop and it almost has like a burnt smell to it. Almost like the waffle cones that maybe got burnt while making them from scratch. So it's kind of smoky to me, but it has like notes in here that make it not just smell like a, a strictly gourmand scent. Like there's some notes in here that it's almost hay-like or straw-like, but I do like it. So yeah, it smells very much edible, right? Quite sweet, but it also has that like a dryness to it. I could see me wearing this, but see, this is one where I wanna smell edible, but elevated because yes, a lot of the times I wanna smell edible and not to not, not I don't necessarily want to be taken too seriously i still want to smell good but i don't want to be taken too seriously but this is the kind of scent what i would wear when i want to smell edible but i want there to be an element of intrigue where anyone smelling smelling me would want to know more because like i said it doesn't just smell like strictly edible but i like this so it, it's quite sweet i would say even though they list vanilla i would say yes i smell that but it, there's it's more complex than that i feel like it's the whole vibe of oops a whole the whole vibe of like walking into an ice cream shop and you know it's not just vanilla ice cream or the vanilla waffle cones that you smell right cool how exciting i would wear this i would wear this so i'm gonna save the free sample that they got me till last just because it wasn't part of the ones i selected and i'm pretty sure yeah okay I was like, uh, I'm, I'm overthinking this. Basically, vanilla waffle cone was here, right? So I'm going with the scent that was here. And I think what I'm gonna do is go like, like this and then try the free sample last. Don't know why I'm telling you that, but. <laughs> so next up we have the soft lawn. And this is one that I was excited about because I'm pretty sure tennis ball is a note um 
let's see and i love the way i just love honestly if you have a moment check out their website just to admire the artwork on each of the bottles and just the graphic design in general is so lovely this is a beautiful website <laughs> so the notes in soft lawn are linden blossom grapefruit laurel and ivy leaves vetiver oak moss and fresh tennis balls and to be honest um as weird as it may sound i actually like the way that new like a new canister of tennis ball smells that's like it very much reminds me of my childhood um it's a smell i haven't smelled in years but i have good memories associated with that smell um, so I'm very curious to see how it's been, uh, interpreted in a fragrance. So let me just make a note of this being the soft lawn. I'm excited. <laughs> this is one I think that I was like most excited about because it seems so weird. I thought my camera conked out on me. Okay. Okay. Fresh. It does smell green spicy a little bit i don't smell at least right off this kind of reminds me of cucumbers it doesn't really remind me of like maybe maybe a little bit the tennis balls there is something very like artificial smelling but not in a like a cheap imitation artificial but like it's weird because it's fresh it's spicy it's it does remind me of cucumber which makes me feel like is this kind of aquatic yeah this is interesting i feel like i'm trying to see what do i think it smells green let's put it that way oh my camera so it does smell green and a little bit i don't know why fluffy comes to mind but not in like a marshmallow fluffy it's kind of soft it has like a subtle i want to say sweetness but more in the floral sense of sweetness and i think i'm pretty sure you probably already guessed that all of the scents by imaginary authors are meant to be worn by anyone so but this is definitely one I wouldn't, I wouldn't, this is a scent that I feel could be worn by anyone for sure. Now I don't really pick up the tennis ball note, but I'm gonna give it a chance to dry down a bit more unless I forgot how it smells, but I don't think so. <laughs> but yeah, it is nice. I mean, I don't think this is my style of scent. Actually, I'm gonna give it a chance to dry down. I think at the end of the video, I'm gonna revisit the scents, but it is nice. I would wear this doing a, like a relatively sporty activity. I think they suggest wearing it doing something leisurely. I could see that. Yeah, okay, it's nice. Next up is Sun Drunk. And let me get the notes. No, we're not doing that today. Okay, so the notes in Sun Drunk are Neroli, Rhubarb, Honeysuckle, Rosewater, Orange, ki orange Kiss, Orange Zest, and First Kiss. Now I noticed at least so far it seems like the last note that they list is one that's a bit more of an imaginary note um which to me means that they've come up with something that smells more like a vibe than an actual thing which is cool um i'm not sure what was behind the inspiration for me selecting this i figure maybe the artwork is adorable but i think probably just i'm a fan of like beachy summary sense so that's very likely that that was why i chose this one so let's give this a sniff oh it smells like oh wow it smells like you just entered a water park and it's like you smell this is so wild it's like you smell all of the different suntan sunscreen lotions you smell the water i'm hearing the noise of like you know the ambient noise of people talking and kids laughing and playing that is cool it has like a soapiness to it as well and to me it's kind of like it just feels like i'm thinking i don't know why but it's, it makes me think of like the showers at these parks like because of the soapiness and the freshness but there is a brightness to the scent and it really does smell like a vibe wow and the neroli in here is not super loud to my nose which is fine <laughs> but i do feel like there's a bit of a bitterness which i think is probably coming from that 
But there are a lot of, I mean, all of the notes are pretty bright in nature. I mean, first kiss, what is that, right? But there is a youthfulness to the scent. So, wow, I like this. I like what, I like how I immediately felt <laughs> what I felt. <clears throat> cool. Yeah, very summery, very bright, very happy, very playful. Almost like a literal interpretation of an experience and I like that okay so next up we have oh this is one that I was very excited about the scent is called Saint Julep can y'all see it let me get in closer oh there you go love the mint color actually these color combinations are so cute I I've been exploring that a lot with my thumbnails just like trying different color combinations out this is they they're they've got something going They've got something special going. <laughs> They've got something special going on here with their color combinations. Yes, that is what I've been trying to say. So let's get the notes for these. So the notes are sweet mint, tangerine, southern magnolia, bourbon, grisalva. I'm not sure what that is, and sugar cube. So yeah, I've had mint julep before. The drink, um, I like it, and. I imagine this is going to be lovely and refreshing and sweet and delicioso. So let me make a note. Ooh, I like this. Immediate thought is wearable. Now it's starting to smell a little bit like college. And I don't know if it's because I was in Savannah, Georgia, and it's reminding me of college or it's reminding me of how a student smelled. Hmm. Okay, so it, it has the mintiness, right? But I feel like the mintiness isn't leading. The sensation of mintiness is leading, like that refreshing kind of mentholated vibe, but it doesn't smell minty to my nose. But there is a freshness to it, a slight sweetness. Honestly, I smell like a little bit of chocolate, I wanna say, or something that's giving it an earthiness. It does have like, now I, I wanna say it has a cleanish, clean-ish <laughs> smell to it but not necessarily in a soapy way, but kind of. I would say this is wearable. I feel like it would probably be really fun to wear in the summer because it's of that minty quality. Oof, oof. And the overall like freshness about this, but this is nice. It smells simple, likable. I don't know, maybe I interacted with someone in college who smells like this, who smelled like this. Cause it's reminding me of an interaction, but I'm not sure what the, what it was. Hmm, okay, curious. So next up we have Cape Heartache. I think this is one that's pretty, if it's not earthy, it's piney, I can't remember. I'm a fan of like pine and like cypress kind of notes. And I think that's what I'm gonna find in this one, I think. Oh yeah. So there's Douglas fir, pine resin, Western hemlock, vanilla leaf, strawberry, old growth and mountain fog. So I'm looking forward to smelling this one. Now I feel like a lot of times like uh, pine or like fir and all those kind of types of plants and trees are usually what I've smelled in like um, uh, fragrances geared towards men. Okay, well. She's in a suitcase now. <laughs> but some scents that have been geared towards women that have featured those notes that I've liked, I've actually really, really liked. So I figured this wouldn't hurt to give this a shot because it is kind of different from what I usually gravitate towards. So let's see what Cape Heartache smells like. Ooh, fresh, woody, almost like pencil woody. almost like licorice in the sense of it being kind of rooty but sweet a little bit so that's what it smells like woody rooty and sweet but the sweetness is like one that like when i've chewed like licorice bark the sweetness is one that i feel like comes like in my throat is when i taste it not so much up here <laughs> interesting it's quite woody quite quite woody i feel like i wouldn't 
the pine quality isn't really predominant to my nose. I, I wouldn't jump to say this is like super wearable. I think I wouldn't say this is commercial smelling at all. But it is interesting. And I think it's what makes it interesting is the fact that it's that rootiness. But it's really cool, actually. It's different. It's different. That's what I have to say about it so far. <laughs> Next up, we have Every Storm, a Serenade. So I like there's like a bit of an ombre effect on this one. Notes in here are Danish spruce. So I'm curious to see how this one smells. Eucalyptus, vetiver, cologne, ambergris, and Baltic sea mist. I imagine this is gonna be a vibe, a, a freaky one. <laughs> Probably a little scary, but we'll see. Ooh, ooh. I pick up the cologne immediately. I think if I'm not mistaken, that's one that, that's a, um, an aroma chemical that vibes like watermelon or a type of melon, I think. And that's what I smelled immediately. There's a freshness to it. It's a lot brighter than I thought it would be. Is it a little bit salty? Sure. I guess maybe it would, I guess it's less freaky, more outdoorsy. Cause it smells like the outdoors. Again, it has that bit of rootiness. What the notes again? The only thing, it has that sweetness thing going on again. I like it, right? I feel like, ooh, this is one that, if I wanted to wear something kind of like gender neutral, this would work, surprisingly, because it does have like, uh, notes in here that are deemed, I suppose, as more masculine smelling. And I'm not the biggest fan most of the time, but I do like this. Hmm. I don't know if I gave enough of a description, but it's likable. It's fresh. It's slightly sweet. It's aquatic. Has a bit of saltiness, but I would say it's a, a it's a pretty bright smelling scent and wearable. Okay, cool. <laughs> Next. We have falling into the sea. Maybe this is one that has more of a um, scary vibe. I can't remember what I've chosen. Let me see. So the notes, oh, maybe not. <laughs> I think I know why I chose this. The notes in here are lemon, bergamot, grapefruit, lychee, tropical flowers, and warm sand. Uh, mostly probably the lychee, but also the fact that it probably is gonna smell right up my alley in terms of like beachy tropical and potentially sunscreeny maybe with that sand i'm here for it though let's see how this smells yeah this is nice <laughs> it's like citrusy sweet mellow oh my god i love this this is a happy scent and you know what i can't help what i like and this is so me <laughs> because of the like am i crooked y'all i'm trying to like I'm, i promise my back is straight it's just how i'm sitting kind of weird this smells so good I, I can't say that I'm picking up lychee specifically, but there is like a tropical vibe to it. And this is totally like a fruity floral, but it's actually kind of reminds me of Kool-Aid, but in a good way, in a juicy way. This is another one that smells quite like bright and happy. I am think they described it as sunshine in a bottle. Let me see. Yeah, totally. This is a sunny, happy scent. I would totally wear this. Totally. Yeah, I like this. All right falling into the sea. I love it. It's not like oceanic or anything. It's just more of like a summertime kind of scent. 
Love it. And last for the scents that I've chosen for my short story collection is O oh Unknown. And the notes in O oh Unknown are black tea. Oh gosh, is this? Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> black tea, Lapsang Suchang Tincture. I don't know what that is. Oris Butter, Kyoto Moss, Musk Balsam, Sandalwood, and then three question marks as the final note. So I think it was because of the, ooh, the notes not being listed fully. <laughs> that intrigues me. Let's give this a smell. Maybe it was because I was looking for a tea note. That's possible. Ooh. Okay, it does smell like a cup of tea, but there's some depth to it. Oh, there was a note that I smelled and then it evaded me. I don't know why I want to say butter. Is there butter in here? Or is butter? I really feel like there's a butteriness to this, which is so strange. <laughs> I would say, I mean, I want to say this is like, it has a mysterious vibe to it. And I hope, I'm hoping that it's not just because of the notes, <laughs> but there's something about this that is just very much intriguing. Now it doesn't smell so much like sniffing a cup of tea anymore, but I'm intrigued. It's not loud either. I feel like I have to sniff pretty hard to like get anything now. My nose could just be tired as well. But what I will say is that this is well blended in a way that I feel like even though I don't know what most of these things are, I still feel like it's quite wearable. I would wear this where i don't know let's see where they suggest at the risk of sounding bleak this night could be your last <laughs> splash on oh unknown and plunge forth into prosperity and joy repeat 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 as often as you are able i mean they have a point that's fun nice and dark <laughs> but yeah i like it i like it and again i don't really know why i mean it smells good obviously that's part of why i like it but it's hard to explain but i kind of like that i like that so last up i'll be giving their free sample which was so nice of them and it's called yesterday haze um let's see i this was not one that i selected so let's see what it's listed as in terms of notes so the notes in here are maybe this was one i I don't remember. The notes in here are fig, iris, cream, tonka, tree bark, walnut bitters, and orchard dust. I don't remember if this is one that I was intrigued by, but I am now. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Powdery. Creamy, floral. You know, I want to say there's a bit of a dustiness to this. This smells like, I feel like I can pick up all the notes if I wanted to try really hard. I feel like the iris is coming out a lot more with that distinct um, powdery floral note. Oh, this is, this is nice. It's not particularly sweet either, but it is kind of dusty. And I'm not just saying that. You know some fragrances have that dusty smell? This is, like there's a dryness to it. I like, I feel like, cause I'm a fan of powdery scents, right? Oh, sorry. I'm a fan of powdery scents. And this is one, let me see what they say. The seductive dreamlike quality of the scent works like a magnet. Use it liberally during the day and as it lingers into night, watch as those around you are lured into your sphere. I could see that. <laughs> I feel like it's getting more like, now it says, what does it say? Walnut what now? Walnut bitters. I feel like I, I, okay. I remember like Christmases when I was a child and like we had like the walnuts and the mixed nuts or whatever, and I would crack them open. I feel like the walnut shell has a bitterness to it because I may or may not have tried to eat it. <laughs> I feel like I'm picking up on that a bit. Like there's a woody, nutty bitterness, which adds like an interesting balance to something that is quite powdery and floral. Hmm. 
Interesting. I like this. I don't know if I would say this is like seductive, but I do want to keep smelling it. So there's that. Okay. Interesting. Let's make a note. All right. So now that we've smelled all nine, I'm going to go back and just see what they all smell like now if they've dried down for a bit. So first is whiff of waffle cone. Ooh, so a lot sweeter. I want to say there's a slight woodiness to it, but this is pleasant. I would, I could see me wearing this because you know, I like me my sweet edible scents, right? Next is the soft lawn. I feel like I'm stretching to smell the tennis balls. It does have still like a freshness to it and it smells kind of familiar, but I don't know if the dry down is my style, at least on the paper. Next is Sun Drunk. Okay. It just smells like a lot of people at like a pool, a nice pool now, like at a resort's pool. <laughs> yeah, this is what is crazy how much it smells like cool water. I like this. I don't know if I would wear it, but I like it. <laughs> Next up, Eel St. Julep. Oh, yeah. I like the dry down a lot. So I feel like I can pick up on the mintiness a bit more now. Again, it kind of just smells like the vibe of mint, but it's sweet, it's mellow, it's likable. I like it. it, has a freshness to it as well. Next is Cape Heartache. This is the one I said smells like pencils because it smells like pencils. It still has like a rooty sweetness. I'm pretty sure this is the one I said has that vibe. It's perhaps too woody for my taste, but still well blended nonetheless. Next is one that I have an acronym of, Every Storm, a Serenade. So fresh, aquatic. That's pretty much how it smells, fresh and aquatic. But I like it. Maybe slightly floral-ish, kind of. Next is one that I also have an acronym for, Falling in the Sea. Falling into the sea. Yeah, I still really like this. <laughs> I feel like the lychee I'm picking up on a lot more now. This is nice. Yeah, it's just like a juicy, tropical, citrusy scent. I don't know if I would say I pick up on the sands note, but beautiful nonetheless. Next is O Unknown. The dry down smells like, I think, did I say this was one I would wear? I think I still would, even though it's dry, it's dried down to smelling more masculine than I remember. But it's likable. I wouldn't say this is like, again, commercial smelling, but it is likable. I think, I think I would enjoy a dude smelling like this, but I feel like this is actually one that I surprisingly would actually like, even though it kind of leans more masculine smelling to me. That's cool. And the last one is Yesterday Haze. Soapy, powdery, there's a freshness to it slight woodiness and I guess a hint of a bitter quality, but I like it. So if I had to pick which ones I would get full bottles of, I would get a whiff of waffle cone. I would get, I was thinking sun drunk. I don't think so. Maybe St. Julep. Yeah, maybe. I guess more of a yes if I'm holding it right. Mm. Every storm is serenade. Now that I'm smelling it, maybe, maybe. Uh, falling into the sea, a definite. Oh, unknown, I feel like, yes, even though it smells kind of masculine to me. Ah, and yesterday haze. It's smelling a lot more like that violety irisy, which I like, but it's not sweet at all which I don't mind, but 
I don't know. I feel like I have sense. You know what this kind of reminds me of in the dry down? Musk uh, 4 by Sada. In the sense of it being like only a slightly sweet irisy kind of scent. Hmm. And that does have a nuttiness to it too. Interesting. I wouldn't say uh, either are like an impression of each other, but that's kind of how it's vibing to me, where it's just a mildly sweet iris scent. It's kind of powdery with a nutty touch to it. So I have five here. Uh, let's rank them. <laughs> uh, okay, first would be falling into the sea. Next would be... Mm, oh, maybe a whiff of waffle cone would be first. And then falling into the sea. And then... St. Julep, O oh Unknown, and Every Storm a Serenade. That's the order. That's the top five in order of how much I like them in this moment. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> so yes, that is all I have to share with you guys today. Let me know if you've tried any scents from imaginary authors. I am curious. So if you liked today's video, please like this video. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I do encourage you to subscribe. And if you would like to support my channel even more, feel free to buy me a bubble tea. All that information is down below in the description box. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you later. Bye. Okay, can I sit? Can mama sit? Okay, I guess we're sitting together. Hmm? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're gonna sit with me? Hmm? You're like, you're gonna film, so I'm out of here. <laughs> you're a good girl. You're a good girl. Yeah. You're a pretty girl. Where are you off to? Okay, I want to sit here. So you could sit next to me, but where do you want to sit? Where muffins sit? Yeah. Okay, that works. Okay, hi. Ooh, you're so cuddly. Yeah. You're a good girl. You're a pretty girl. You're a good girl. Yeah. Wanna sit here? Hmm? Yeah. You're a good girl. Yeah. You're a good girl. <laughs> Trying to be gentle. Did I wipe my camera lens? No. Should I just leave it? I mean, it looks clean. I'm gonna leave it. It's always interesting when I'm like setting up, I'm like, and when it looks good, I'm like, must not touch anything else. <laughs> Eek! <laughs> oh! Muffin's like, are you okay? I am okay, thanks for asking. You're just out of frame, Muffy. You're just out of frame. Oh, I don't have a pen. You can tell I'm very organized today, right? What did I do? Don't attack me, I'm just sitting. Mm, okay. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. <laughs> She's not a fan of like, if it's really quiet and then I move or make a sudden noise, she gets very aggravated with me. Hence the incessant meowing right now because she wants to bite me for disrupting her sleep. That's why she's being like that. You can relax now, okay? No, she really wants to just bite me, I'm telling you. See, y'all could witness it. She may look all sweet. Can I put this down, please? Me use my other arm this girl is crazy <laughs> next up and here i get up again to check something and i'm scared <laughs> I'm cleansing my palate Oof. next
next? Are you being weird? Are you being odd? Is my hand, did I get electrocuted? Eek. Now let's do a thumbnail. Now let's do a thumbnail. Oh gosh.